Hey guys, I'm here today with my first impressions video on the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I had gotten the sample size um, when I went to Ulta and I figured I'd try this out because I heard so many people say that they loved it or know people who love it. Um, I also heard a couple of people say that they didn't like it, but you know what, I figured I'd give it a shot. I love mascara. It's like... If I don't wear any other kind of makeup, I usually go out with some mascara, especially ones that make my lashes look even bigger and bolder. And this one has um, carbon black formula, so that's like really dark, and that's like the, my favorite kind to wear. So um, let's just get started on the first impressions. In the packaging, this is just the sample size, but I've seen like the big size. It's actually a very heavy mascara. Even though this is a sample, it's pretty heavy, and I know that um, I've picked up the biggest size that they have at Sephora or, or like Ulta or something. And it is a pretty heavy mascara, and it's pretty big, and it has a lot of product in it. So it's, you know, it's a good. So that's like my first impressions just based on packaging. Let's take a look at the wand. I know it's an hourglass wand and normally I'm not a huge fan of hourglass um, shaped wands. It's a natural brush and it just looks like that so it has a scoop on the center of it so it looks yeah very hourglassy. Um, so yeah that's my first impressions on that. Um, I'm excited to try this so let's get into the first impression. Okay, so I wore very natural eyeshadow to make it, you know, stand out a little bit. So let's get, let's do this side first. Ooh. So far I'm liking it. It definitely is very black and I do as I say love very black mascaras and definitely ones that make my lashes look even bigger I'd say that's one coat and that's from the side and they look really big and fluttery and I like it a lot so let me just apply the other side. This side always gives me an issue. I think like I had a mascara on that kind of like pulled my lashes a little bit. So I'm like missing a little bit here. So this side has been giving me kind of an issue. That's why I didn't do the exact first impression on that eye. Just due to the fact that this side has been giving me so many issues with everything. See, it's getting clumpy right there, but I know that's just my lashes. It's not the mascara itself. I really like this, guys. I'm like really liking this mascara. So, let me see how it looks on the bottom lashes sorry it's pretty good on the bottom lashes um go. I don't know if anybody else says that but I like kind of scoop it underneath and kind of twirl them so they extend a little bit. I don't know if you saw what I was doing. I was going like underneath, twisting, and like pulling it out. Kind of adds a little bit more separation and length. So, those are the eyes. And that's the mascara. My lashes look amazing. This looks exactly like how it looks like with um, my telescopic carbon black except I feel like this one gives it a little bit more of the oomph even though I swear by my telescopic carbon black this one is a really good um, higher-end alternative 
that's what it looks like zoomed out. I mean, you can still see it. So yeah, guys, I like this a lot and I would definitely recommend this. I would definitely consider getting the full size of this. Um, I really do like it. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see any other first impressions, especially mascaras. I'm obsessed with mascaras, so like I'm always up to hearing about other mascaras and if you know of any mascaras that maybe I haven't mentioned on my channel, if you want to leave them in a comment down below letting me know what your um, your favorite mascara is and I definitely would be willing to check it out. I'm all about mascaras as I said. So um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to like it and I'll see you in my next one, okay? Bye!